there have been a number of shifts, I guess, as well as we've moved into ever more volatile circumstances. And I guess your market news this morning is just another illustration of, of that. I mean, I, I'm saying, you know, if you look at a spectrum of a, a data devoid board to a data drunk board, uh, I, I would say, you know, data savvy is, is somewhere in the middle where you can make those good judgments that you're talking about. And in order to do that, you need to know what data you need, uh, what the data that's put in front of you means. And you need to be able to not be a genius at statistics, but you need, need to be able to di disentangle causation and correlation and understand significance and, and things like that. I think what's changing uh Jeff, is that, I mean, the way I describe this is we're moving from a maps world to a sat nav world where we're making more decisions closer to junctions with more live information. And we're getting more data. I think if you look at board packs, they're more data rich than they've, they've ever been because of big data, big data analytics and so on. So we need to be able to sort of uh, really see through the data. Uh, again, that doesn't mean you're a data sort of genius, but you have to have the, the, the basics. And I... You know, the, 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 you see various examples where, you know, people have been caught out by, by, by the data. So, so, so what are you recommending in practical terms? I mean, should there be an additional support function to boards that allows um, some of that um, uh, great surplus of data to be uh, better combed for the uh, signal in the noise that that actually boards should be spared a lot of the data because it will be pre-analyzed to, to give uh, better information and therefore better decision making. And I mean, in a practical sense, do boards actually just need more people to help them? I think there's a little bit of that. But I think before that, I think you need to have, I mean, most boards now are having meetings around what are the big decisions we've got to take coming up. And as part of that, they're discussing, well, what's the data that we need to be able to make that decision in the most effective way? So rather than just rely on the traditional, you know, we need to decide about this in January, so let the management do a paper and then we'll consider that and we'll decide yay or nay or a bit of a tweak. I think boards are getting more actively involved in saying in order to make this decision at that point, this is the sort of information that we uh, th that we need. I think the other thing that they're doing is actually having more explicit data strategies. So what is the data that we need to be able to make good decisions as we go forward in our particular business? I think the other thing that's, that's changing is the pace. So particularly in the volatility we saw through COVID and we're seeing now, you know, you need to make your judgments with the latest information you know you can't rely on the old traditional three weeks after month end I mean we're well away from that now you know lots of decisions are being made with not quite real time but almost real time uh, real time data and that means you need more resources within the organization to be able to have that that capability. Patrick, we have a front row seat here of a day as to how market participants uh, weigh up data and uh, make sound judgments. And some of them uh, just merely reflect the information in front of them, almost like a mirror image of the information point. Mm. Others can uh, just delve deep into the numbers, come up with very complex strategies, very clever strategies on the back of information. So how do you judge which uh, members, which board members are particularly good at delving into the data and making sound judgments? Yeah, and I think that, that that's actually at the heart of this, because if you don't have a we talked about diversity as the, the introduction to this, uh, th th this segment. And I, I think, you know, how often does a search firm test whether you can actually add up, whether you can see through the numbers, whether you do understand these uh, these differences, a lot is taken for granted. Um, and so I think as a as a chair, when I'm um, selecting board members, I'm always interested in, you know, you, you, you give them some information and see what they make of it. And uh, it's quite interesting, the variability that you that you get.